Hey guys, welcome to Tech Notebook, and in this video, I will be showing you how to create the backend for our Django application. So let's get started. Okay, so in the last tutorial, what we did was we created a basic Hello World page. So in this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is creating the core of our Django application, which is the back end. So what the back end will handle is all our URL requests. So it will match the shortened URL to the actual long URL that we are going to shorten. So right now, what you'll need to do is to go into the URL short directory and open models.py. Okay, so now once we've opened up models.py, we need to create a model. So basically what a model is, is a container for all our data. So this will be uh, what will be written to our database. So in our model, what well, it will have the original URL, the time and date that this short URL was created, as well as the actual short URL. So now to do this, what we're going to have to do is to create a class that inherits from models.model. So to do that, we just need to type in class and we need to name this. I'm going to call this short URL and we need to make that inherit from models.model. So this is basically Django's implementation of what uh, Django thinks models should be. And this just makes it a lot easier for us programmers because we don't need to type out all the like the thousands of lines of code that it would take to actually create a model and report it to the admin site and all that. So what we're going to have to do now is create a few fields. So the first field I'm going to create is a URL field that will house our original URL. So to do that, we just need to type in original URL because these are all class variables and this will basically be models dot and that's going to be a URL field and we're going to have a max length attribute so max length is equal to let's say just 700 characters I'm just going to bring this terminal down because it's just getting in my way and now the second thing we will need to create is a date and time field. So time date created, and that's basically going to be a date time field. So equals models dot date time field and just open up parentheses and close parentheses. And actually right under original URL, we, we can just put the uh, actual short URL. So to do that, we just need to type in short URL equal to, and we're going to have a character field. So that way, if we change the domain, the we don't need to change all of the data points in our database. So we're just going to have a models.char field. And we're going to have max length on this for about, let's say, 100 characters. So max length equals 100. So the original URL um, is a URL field, so it will make us in, uh, input a URL. The short URL will basically be a set of characters. So say we have a URL like uh, domain.com slash I don't know, Y, B, J, C, Y. So this is basically what we're going to house in this short URL. We're not going to house this entire thing because say domain.com changes to say technotebook.com. Then we'll have to change every single uh, attribute in the short URL and change it all to technotebook.com. So Basically, in the HTML, what we will do is make it change dynamically. And finally, for this date time created, we will have it so that it logs the date. So that way, we just have an additional data point to know when this was created, and we can use that for any other things that we need in the future. So just a quick side note here. Here are all the model fields that you can use, and you can find this in the Django documentation. 
I'll have this link below in the description. You can see all the possible uh, fields, model fields that we can use in our models.py file. So let me just show you a, uh, the creation of a basic uh, short URL object. And so the way we do that is, one sec, this terminal is kind of acting up. There we go. So now we just need to go into the source folder. So CD SRC. And now we're in the source folder. And what we can do now is just type in Python manage.py make migrations. So this will basically create a folder. Right here you see that there is a migrations folder. So this will basically tell the Django engine, okay, so we've created a few, um, uh, we made a few changes to our models. Just save that so that way when we migrate it, we can add all those to our database. So just run this command and you can see that it says create model short URL, which is exactly what we created here. So now we need to run python manage.py migrate. So python manage.py migrate. And this will basically create all the necessary tables in our database. So now just press enter and it's basically applying the migration that we created. So now what we will need to do is to go into uh, the admin page. So admin.py is in the URL short directory. And what we will need to do is type in from dot models import short URL. And dot models is basically our models.py file. So now once we've imported short URL, what we'll need to do is to just type in admin site dot register. And we'll need to type in short URL. And I will explain what this code does in a moment. Now we need to create a user for the admin website because uh, the admin website requires a username and password. And to do that, we'll just need to type in python manage.py create super user. Click enter. I'm just going to have a basic username and password. And that's basically it. So now what we're going to do is just uh, run the server quickly. So python manage.py run server. Click enter. And now we'll just need to go to our Django site. So we'll need to go to localhost slash admin, enter our username and password. And we're into the Django administration site. So now if we go into short URLs right here that we created and we click add short URL, you see that there are a bunch of form fields. So right here, if we go back into models.py, we see that it's the short URL class that's uh, being used. You have the original URL right here, short URL right here, and the time and date created right here. So those are basically all the fields that we've created. So now let's go back into admin.py. So basically what this is doing is it's telling the admin site, because we've imported admin right here, it's telling the admin site that we need to add an additional model into the site. Because currently, um, if we go back to home, the default two modules are groups and users. If you go to users, you can see that there are two users currently. And groups, there shouldn't be anything. So if you just go to groups, yep, there's nothing. And I was basically saying, OK, let me just add another model into this, which is the short URLs that we've created. So now if we add a short URL, let's say the original uh, short URL, uh, we have a Django website open right here. Just paste that in. We'll have, we can set the short URL to any string of characters we want. We'll automate this in the future to make it just pick a random set of characters. But right now, we'll just have to type it in manually. I'm just going to say, hello. What about that? So now we need to set the time and date. This will also be done automatically later. 
and click Save. And you see that we have a short URL object. So right now with all these short URL objects, you can see that, you know, it's kind of hard to tell which one's which. So to fix that, what we'll need to do is go back into models.py and we need to add a function. So I'm going to, we need to call this function in uh, define str. We need to pass in self. And inside here, we'll need to tell uh, Django which one of these um, attributes should be shown when we're looking at this list right here. And we're going to have the original URL. So what we're going to do right here is just say return self dot uh, original URL. So now if we go back, we need to do Python manage .py make migrations and migrate again. There we go. And now we, when we go back to our website, if we refresh the page, right, we need to run the server. Let's go run the server quickly. So Python manage.py run server. Click enter. Now we're running the server. We can go back, refresh the page. And right now you see the URL is what we can see and we're not seeing any generic short URL objects anymore. So now we've successfully created a model and created an object using that model on the admin page. So if you have any questions, feel free to check the GitHub link that I've posted below and leave any questions that you may have after that in the comments section below. So that being said, that is the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.